There has been a, a tendency to use proportional representation in new democracy. People say, oh well, uh, it's a non-committal uh, attitude, uh, proportional representation, there's no harm in it, uh, it is used in Western Europe, so why not uh, use it in these uh, new democracies? Uh, well, uh, people don't, are not used to making comparisons. Uh, they forget exactly how things work in Western Europe. You have a general good uh, situation. But uh, when you start getting into details, if you take 10 of the old European democracies, then uh, you see that things are not quite uh, exactly as they should be. Um, we either have uh, some countries which have a very weak party system, that is, you will have maybe six, seven or eight political parties so that governments can only be made by coalition governments. Now, coalition governments are fine. Why not have a coalition? But uh, the trouble with co coalitions is that uh, once there's a problem that occurs in the country, whatever kind of problems, be they economical, social, political, then the government collapses. So that the country, when it most needs government, just doesn't have a government. And uh, they have what we call a caretaker government, and that is dangerous for democracies. Now, of course, in Europe, since the 1945 uh, war, extreme right parties, Extreme left parties did exist in the fact that uh, communist parties uh, were getting up to 25 or 30 percent of the seats in some countries, but the extreme right parties are not dangerous. But the fact of having these periods when you do not have a government are dangerous. They are especially dangerous if you look at it from an emerging democracy's point of view. For example, the Dutch can have periods of six months without a government. Now, that is not an example to uh, give to anyone. Belgium is in the same case. Usually, uh, the periods where they only have what we call caretaker governments, that is, that they do not have a majority in the assembly, are shorter. Same for Finland. Finland do not have what they call, what usually caretaker governments. They have technical uh, governments. But if you add together the periods that these three countries have been without a government, a normal government in a parliamentary system, that is with a majority in the assembly, it adds up to somewhere around four years. Now, four years from 1945 to nowadays without a government is not a good example to follow. There is another danger, of course, in proportional uh, representation. It is that uh, when you have more than just two parties, even three parties, then you should have a bias, like in the majority system, in favour of the leading party. That is, a party which obtains, say, 45% of the votes could get 53 or 54% of the seats and form a majority one-party government. Now, proportional representation usually limits this bias in favour of the main party 
so that uh, you find situations which can be dangerous.